What's up, rad people? To me, October means a month long of horror movies. And each year, there is a list of 10 classic horror movies I love to watch to get into the Halloween spirit. So today, I'm sharing them with you. For this list, I focus on just the classics. So I'm only covering movies that are 25 years or older. So let's get to it. Number 10. The Amityville Horror. A family moves into what appears to be their dream home, but the house's dark past begins to resurface and threatens to tear the family apart. I feel like this is a movie anyone can enjoy because it has a very interesting and developed storyline. So if you're looking to watch a horror movie this Halloween season with someone that maybe doesn't typically care for this genre, I'd give this movie a try. Number 9. It. Okay, so it is technically a two-part miniseries, but it plays like a movie and it focuses on one of the creepiest Halloween characters, so I put it on this list. Based on the Stephen King novel of the same name, it focuses on a group of people that are forced to fight for their lives after they're targeted by a demon that can transform itself into the victim's biggest fear. For this unfortunate group, it takes on the identity of a psycho homicidal clown known as Pennywise. If you think normal happy clowns are super creepy already, you should totally watch this movie. Number 8. Fright Night. You can't have a Halloween horror movie list without including at least one super awesome vampire title. The plot revolves around a young teenage boy who suspects his new neighbor is a member of the blood-sucking undead. When everyone writes his idea off as the teen having an overactive imagination, he takes it upon himself to expose his neighbor and protect the ones he loves. This movie is perfect for those looking for a comedy horror to watch this Halloween season. Number 7. Carrie. This is hands down my favorite horror movie to watch every October. Another movie based on a Stephen King novel, Carrie follows the story of a meek and sheltered teenage girl who discovers she has dangerous telekinetic powers. After being bullied and teased for most of her life by her religious mother and cruel classmates, Carrie decides it's time to exact her revenge. This movie is perfect for those that dig high school based plots and the paranormal. Number 6. The Evil Dead. Five college friends spend the night in a remote cabin. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. A lot can go wrong. Especially when evil spirits and demon possessions are thrown into the mix. If you love absurd amounts of fake blood and guts, this movie is right up your alley. Number five, Dawn of the Dead. As a big fan of George A. Romero, my October is filled with rewatching his iconic zombie movies. But if you're looking to watch just one of his titles, I highly recommend Dawn of the Dead. When the zombie epidemic begins to spread and chaos is running rampant, a group seeks safety from the hungry corpses in a shopping mall. I can't recommend the zombie flick enough. Number 4, Friday the 13th. Slasher movies are synonymous with Halloween, so Friday the 13th is perfect for this time of year. When an abandoned summer camp is gearing up to reopen, a mask-wearing, machete-carrying killer begins to gruesomely murder the teenage camp counselors. I think Friday the 13th is one of those movies you can re-watch each year and it's still just as awesome as the first time you've seen it. Number 3. The Exorcist. This movie is probably responsible for more nightmares and traumatizations than any other classic title on this list. Yes, some of the special effects, especially the pea suit vomit, may look a little silly now, but the premise of the movie is still terrifying. The Exorcist follows the story of a young girl who is possessed by a demon and seeks savior from two priests. This movie is dark and twisted and her face is super creepy. If you like possession movies, definitely check this out. I don't care how many times I've seen this movie, the scene with the staircase still freaks me out. Number 2. Nightmare on Elm Street I don't know about you, but I personally can't have a successful Halloween season without a Wes Craven marathon, and Nightmare on Elm Street is my favorite place to start. When teens begin to be violently murdered in their sleep by a sharp-handed killer, a group of survivors must uncover his identity and find out why he's targeting them, all while trying to stay awake. Number 1. Halloween. Halloween is the epitome of the perfect Halloween horror movie. This movie has everything. It has a masked killer, a babysitter, it takes place on Halloween, 
And even the title is appropriately named. The movie begins with Michael Myers brutally killing his older sister when he was just a child. The plot then fast forwards 15 years into the future when Michael escapes from a psychiatric hospital and returns home. This movie is great to watch while handing out candy on Halloween, and it's even greater to watch while sitting on the couch eating candy on Halloween. Whoa, that is a lot of great movies to watch this time of year, and those are only the classics. We'll be covering more awesome horror movies throughout Halloween Fest. Thank you so very much for watching today's video. If you haven't yet seen the very first episode of Halloween Fest 2015, you can click on the video beside me, and for mobile users, there will also be a link down in the description. If you're not yet part of our fantastic community, well, hit that subscribe button and join today. You don't want to miss out on this month of nightmares. And until next time, bye!